Well, Daryl, in a residential setting, you have supply lines and you have drain lines. And the beauty here today is we get a chance to see transparently how a drain line works. So in this segment of Plumbing 101, let's do just that and follow the drain line system. Okay, and here we have a bathtub. And what we have is a waste and overflow on this bathtub. So the drain part and the linkage on the top. So when you close the lever on the top, it actually stops the water from going out. When you open it up, it goes through the waste and overflow, through the trap, and into the drain system. And of course, it follows all the way down. This is tied into toilets and sinks. And, and that eventually drains out to the street and then down to the municipal sewer, in this case, MMSD. That's correct. We've all experienced a plug drain and panic usually sets in. Let's provide some advice on solving that problem and really focus in on what is the causes. The most common problem is hair. Hair getting caught on the screen, the linkage in the back of it, this has a linkage in here so hair can get caught on there. And when that happens, a homeowner can just simply take a needle nose or a tweezers and remove that hair and usually that does it. If it's further down the drain, that's maybe when you would want to call a plumber in so that you can get that rotted out the proper way. I know from personal experience, I've had plug drains before. You get a snake out, you start fishing it through all the way down here. Sounds easy, but when that snake gets stuck down there, you got a whole new problem to deal with. Now, what about using a plunger in a bathtub setting? In this case, a plunger wouldn't work because if you're plunging here, this is the open air for the overflow. So the air would actually come out of the overflow rather than push down on the bottom. So plunging in a bathtub situation or probably a sink for that matter, wouldn't do any good. But in other areas of the home it might? The only places you really should use a plunger is on a toilet or on a shower. Other than that, with the open vents, they will not work properly. For more information on Building Wisconsin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to watch additional episodes on YouTube or at our website, buildingwisconsintv.com.